Hi guys, I'm so happy you're watching this video because today I'm going to tell you how we visited the Kinder Clinic in Almere, the kids clinic here in Almere with Olivia because she is allergic to several products and the doctor advised us to come to clinic for half of the day and to check her reaction to particular products. Today was the walnut and she was given small portions of walnut every 30 minutes just to see is it a very hard reaction or is it okay just to take small portion for her and um, I managed to make some shots in the clinic for you guys if you want to see how does it look like and as for my experience we really loved the atmosphere there because it was not really not stressful at all we just came to our room to get this little portion and then we just went around we played in every corner we really like that it's all equipped for kids and it's very kids friendly of course because it's kinder clinic and we were only on the third floor but there are a lot of floors there and there is the whole music center the reception where kids can where kids could play musical instruments and it's really amazing place uh, for kids because well of course medical procedures can be stressful and they are stressful right uh, the majority of them is stressful but well Olivia was happy and uh, really I was happy because my child is happy I communicated with all the doctors and the nurses in English and it was really comfortable because all of them speak English and they were really open and very very kind to us and now I want to share just several random things about medical system here in the Netherlands that surprised me. And the first of all is the house arts for all the family members. Because basically in Poland as well as in Russia, uh, the doctors for kids are separate. Even the doctor of the first contact is separate. So if something happens to the child, you go to the pediatrician. It's a, just a basic rule. So it was very surprising for me. I even I even told the doctor that it's a huge surprise for me that the house arts also deals with the whole family members. Another surprising thing about um, the system here is that we were called and invited to the uh, checkups for Ava. Ava also did the checkup for her school at her age, which is obligatory. And uh, Olivia was invited to each analysis because, well, when the doctor tells you you have to make the analysis, you just go to the reception and you make an appointment. But not in this case. In this case, um, the receptionist they just called us and arranged this analysis. So it's it's just was strange that. It's not my like it's not my job to, to to sign up right but the person calls me from the clinic and asks me for when when it is appropriate for us to come. The third surprising moment is that there is a special organization which is apart from school and apart from well hospital and medical system which takes care about kids development and observes a child in terms of its physical right development and uh, mental development and school education so we have already communicated with them they have already invited Ava for medical checkup and they invited Olivia for medical checkup and uh, also a person from that organization came to us just to observe Olivia and to give her certificate for the preschool so this whole system was a little bit strange for me at the beginning uh, it was it was you know hard for me to understand where to contact and where to find the specials we need but as a result I understand that the system is really really comfortable and it's really wisely organized and now I see like this country really takes care of its people because there is a special organization taking care of kids, observing them, giving advices because sometimes, you know, guys, well, when there is some issue, some situation with the child, right, which doesn't strictly relate to school or doesn't strictly relate to medical hospital, something like that, you don't know where to go. And in this case, this organization, it keeps this record of this uh, family situations and it's, it's really cool. And the first point is the United Insurance. I would 
explain what I'm talking about. Well, in Russia or in Poland, you have like basic governmental insurance and you have those basic governmental state hospitals clinics but generally the service there is not very nice so the service is not very nice the personnel is not polite there are queues there because there are a lot of poor people right uh, who need this sub medical support so this is why there are a lot of private medical organizations in russia as well as in poland so there is quite a division there so you pay this governmental um, insurance that you have to pay right taxes for that but you don't use it actually it's, it's better to use a private system instead of the governmental system so that's what we were used to do in poland also we paid out taxes to support medical system there but we actually used the private system and we paid extra for this private system as a result we paid more for this medical service in poland than we pay here and when i when i hear that oh my god you have to pay insurance in the netherlands despite in the other countries just for free i say nothing is for free guys well, there are maybe some, I don't know, maybe Arabic countries, I don't really know when there is actually for free. But in Poland, in Europe, in like everywhere, there, it is not for free. You pay it from your taxes, but you don't calculate the sum. You don't know even sometimes, like in Russia, I didn't even know how much I pay for this. And I don't use it. So it's, it's useless. But here in the Netherlands, you know what you're paying for. And it is also great.